Hi Will, um, I've been a tactical hermit all this week in order to try and avoid lover's vows and everybody who's been involved with it. So I have in fact, and hold on to your hat, been reading. I know it's completely unlike me, isn't it? What a shock. One day there may come a time where I do not chew your ear off about a book, but today's not that day, William. I'm reading this book which was recommended to me by Yates of all people. I was a bit sceptical at first, but pff, I don't know. I'm really getting into it. It's called The End of the Affair by Graham Greene, and um, Yates said it has one of the most beautiful and horrible last lines of any book. Uh, let's just... You've robbed me of enough. I'm too tired and old to learn to love. Leave me alone forever. Pretty bleak. Um, I don't know, I usually avoid love stories that don't end happily as a rule, but I'm really getting into this one. I, I know I've never experienced heartbreak like these characters, but something just really resonates with me, you know? It's nice to read something a bit more cynical for a change, something that's just a bit more realistic. Hello? Hi, it's only me. Oh, hi. Is it a bad time? No, no, come in, I'll just turn the camera. Actually, no, don't. That's what I was going to ask you about. Hello? I was wondering if you would run through some lines with me for this thing, the film. I, I know you don't want to get involved, but I'm really struggling. Can you read through them with me a couple of times? Help me drum them into my brain? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know why I let myself get involved in all this. I thought it was going to be a bit of fun but Tom and Yates are taking it really seriously. Do not forget, Mary, they are the artistes. <laughs> oh, of course, how could I forget? Give it a week, they'll be wearing berets and smoking the long Cruella de Vil cigarettes. <laughs> anyway, the others won't help me. Rhea and Henry are doing their best to pretend like they're not flirting, and Rory is doing his best to pretend not to notice. It's too awkward. So what do I have to do? Oh, just read through them with me a couple of times and we'll watch them back and we can see exactly how horrendous I am. Well, I'm sure you're <laughs> not. But is this the actual script? Yeah, it's dreadful, isn't it? It's like an indie film written by a toddler. You see my problem? Mm. <laughs> um, so who, who am I? Uh, my lover, Anne Holt. It's part. Oh. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to do all these over-the-top love scenes with Ed. Like, it must be weird for you seeing Ed in a lover's role, because he's sort of like your surrogate brother. Uh, Let's go. You, you start. Okay. Um, you can only avoid me for so long, Amelia. I'm doing us both a favour, Anne Holt. You know it's impossible for us to express our love. It's only impossible because you just won't say the uh, words. Touch my hair. What? The stage directions, they say you touch my hair. Oh, um, it's only impossible because you won't say the words. How can I say them? When I try, they catch in my throat, suppressed by the prejudices and judgments of others. But there's too much at stake. Uh, um, <clears throat> the only thing at stake is our happiness, Amelia. I know your family think me unworthy of you, but the only thing that truly matters is what's in your heart. Ed, come in. Hey, Mary. Hi. You all right? Uh, yeah, I'm well, thanks. Uh, Frankie's just helping me run some lines. Oh, I was going to ask Frank to do something pretty similar. Tom wants us off script by tonight and this dialogue. It's dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> it's so bad. It's <laughs> so cheesy. It's, it's just not sticking in my head. <laughs> well, uh, since you're here, why don't we rehearse together? Oh, well, I don't want to... Interrupt if you're going through lines of Frankie. I don't think I'm doing you justice. <laughs> I'm sure you're a much better actor. Besides, I'm gonna make this script worse than it already is. I don't think that is possible. <laughs> Why don't we run through it a couple of times and Frankie can direct us? Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, sit or stand? Uh, standing would be better. Uh, should we move the camera? Is it filming? Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so Frankie, if you watch us and make sure it looks okay on the camera. Are you sure? Okay. Here goes. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> Let's just do it. Rip it like a plaster. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> you can only avoid me for so long, Amelia. I'm doing us both a favour, Anne Holt. 
You know it's impossible for us to express our love. It's only impossible because you won't just say the words. Sorry, it uh, says to touch your hair in the script. I didn't. Oh no no I I know it, it it's good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. um I should start. Um. um the, oh. oh. It's only impossible because you won't say the words. Uh, how can I say them? When I try, they catch in my throat, suppressed by the prejudice and judgement of others. There's too much at stake. The only thing at stake is our happiness, Amelia. I know your family think of me unworthy, but the only thing that truly matters is what's in your heart. They can stop us from being together, but they can't stop you from speaking your mind. I, I'm afraid. I I'm afraid if I say the words out loud, they'll float around forever, a constant reminder of a promise I can't fulfil. Please, for me, even if I never see you again after this day, tell me what you feel so at least I'll know. At least I'll have heard you say it. Give me that. Anhold? Yes? I wish I, I wish I could keep up this pretense, but I cannot lie any longer. Like a package left out in the rain, I am unopened. Like a swing pool in December, I am unenjoyed. Like a half-eaten bagel. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Come on. Like a half-eaten bagel, I am unfinished. Every second in which I cannot call you mine stretches out like an eternity. A merciless de desert of loneliness. Every circumstance is against us, and yet I find myself caring less and less. I give up my family and my fortune for your touch. My touch is yours without any sacrifice. It belongs to you. It has... it has always belonged to you. Uh, that's when we're supposed to, uh, kiss. Uh, but let's... Uh, let's, let's not, not. <laughs> for today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that went really well, I thought. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it went well. It didn't feel as weird, uh, doing the lines with you. It, it, it felt good. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Uh, I enjoyed it. Me too. Uh, Franks, what did you think? It was great. It, it didn't look awkward or weird. Uh, no, not at all. Brilliant. We might be able to do this then. <laughs> yeah, quite the couple. <laughs> um, did you want to watch it back? Oh, yeah. Well, we may as well go downstairs and show it to Yates and Tom. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you okay to bring the camera, Frankie? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My lady Amelia. Oh, stop it, Arnold. I can hardly bear it. <laughs> <laughs>